In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make some simple shelves that's gonna make a big impact in a small space. And all you need is a circular saw or a table saw along with a few hand tools. And a big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Let's get started by cutting the width of the shelf. And since each shelf has two pieces of plywood, I'll need to repeat this again. There's only two shelves in this location, so I want them to have a thick look so they can hold their own. And after cutting the width of the shelves, I'm now gonna cut the depth of them. The finished shelves should be around two and a half inch thick. To cover up the plywood ends, I'm gonna use a piece of select pine. Next, I need to mark and cut some scrap pieces of wood to complete the thickness of the shelf. I ended up ripping five of these scrap pieces. Two get mounted to the wall and three support the thickness of each shelf. Now I need to cut the trim down to the same width of the shelf. Every joint in this shelf is held together with wood glue, but in selective areas, I use a few brad nails to hold things together while the glue set up. I place each one of the spacers approximately one inch from the end. The nails I shot through was just enough to hold these pieces down while the glue set up. And finally, I added the last piece of spacer in the middle. If you made shelves that was much longer than these, I'd say having a spacer every 12 inch should do the trick. Now glue on the front and the other side to close up the shelves. Wood glue is strong enough to hold these shelves. But if you don't have a lot of time on your hands, you can go ahead and shoot a few brad nails in there to hold things together and allow enough time for the glue to set up. When you add clamps, be sure to clean off the wood glue using a wet rag. This stuff can be tough to remove once it's dry. On top of that, it's a fast way to gum up your sanding disc. Sand down all your shelves using 120 grit sandpaper. Next, inspect the areas that may need a little bit of attention, then use wood filler to fill those in and also the nail holes. The stain I use on this project is Golden Pecan. It's a bit bold and I think too much of it can be too much. I don't think you can go wrong if you use a small touch of it in a room like a shelf or something on a smaller scale, especially if you have a white room. After applying a good amount of stain, I let this sat down for a while, then I came back with a clean rag and wiped it off. I waited a few hours and then I added another coat on it and I let this one sit a little bit longer. Even after this coat, it still wasn't as dark as I liked it to be. I ended up putting on a total of four coats while lightly sanding in between each. And while I'm at it, I get asked this question a lot is how do I keep my brush clean? I normally use a water bottle, soda bottle, or in this case, a milk jug. I cut off the top section, add a little mineral spirit. I then soak the brush and then you should see all of the stain come off. And if you want to go the extra mile, just repeat it again with new mineral spirit. And this all depends on which finish you're using. In most cases, the cleanup solution is always on the can. To add the finishing touches, I'm going to use a spar urethane as the top coat for this. Finally, I mark and pre-drill the wall supports. And each shelves get two, one on each side. The height of these shelves to me is personal preference. I installed these based on our use. This is such a tight spot to work in, but we made it. The shelf support on one side screwed directly into the cabinet. On the opposite side, I use wall anchors. These shelves are a great solution for your laundry room, kitchen, linen closet, kids room, home office, you name it. Depending how many you need, this can be a really quick weekend project. When we first purchased this home, this laundry room was a clean slate. And little bit by little bit over time, I managed to create all the pieces for this room. And these cabinets were my pre-YouTube days. The backsplash, you might have seen that video on the channel. And the countertop was also my pre-YouTube days.
All right, guys, so thank you for watching. And here's a quick word from today's sponsor. Making a website is not as hard as you think. And it has never been easier to take a cool idea or a product you have and now share it with the world. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that allow you to build that dream website. It's template driven, so all you have to do is find a template that fits your vision. Make the visual tweaks needed to the one that fits you. Doing something for the first time can seem a bit foreign, but with their 24 seven customer support, they'll have you covered. To get started, all you'll need is a domain that represents you. Next, pick a template, add the content, and you'll be well on your way to establishing that online presence. To find out more about this special offer, head over to squarespace.com slash DIY creators, or you can click the link down in the video description to save 10% on your first purchase.